Hello everyone. So in the previous couple of videos having been introduced to renewable energy scenario around the world, uh, we now come to uh, one topic that is solar power in India. So uh, basically since I am from India and this is a course I am mainly giving for the students in India, uh, I, I am just focusing on uh, Indian scenario. However, the international audience can also have a look at this can also gain some understanding about uh, what is going on in India. And also you can search on the similar topic, you know, in your respective countries, what is the status of solar power in your respective countries and all. In, and you can, you know, in, in, in that sense, you can compare it with Indian scenario. Uh, this is as of April 2017. So what is, what is the scenario and how it is going and all. Now the main source for my knowledge, whatever I am sharing with you in this uh, video, the main source of my knowledge is... Uh, is several websites and prominently I am getting it from uh, Wikipedia. So, so if I write source, Wikipedia article with same title. So the title is Solar Power in India. In fact, I have that article. Let me let me show you that article now. So this is the Wikipedia article and it has uh, a lot of information uh, pertaining to solar power in India and I have just since, since there is so much information in this I have just highlighted some of the main uh, points in this and then I am trying to cover that but, but then anyway you are free to visit this page so Wikipedia solar power in India and you can see or not just uh, India you can, you can whatever country you are uh, coming from you can always have a look at it. So let's get started. So I am just slowly going into some some of the interesting uh, facts about what we can see. So the first thing uh, you should know is that the main important point solar power is fast growing in India. So the growth of solar power is really very fast. Now what do you mean by fast? So first of all before we go into that, uh, what is the All India install capacity percentage wise? Install capacity as per the source, so 70% is thermal and then 40% is hydro and 14% is again renewable and then finally 2% is nuclear. So these two are actually, even hydro can be counted as renewable. So if you count these two, then 28% actually is renewable energy in the installed capacity of power. So now the thermal is in the increasing trend, but then the, the renewable is in the much much more increasing trend. So therefore, in future this percentage is going to reduce and this percentage is going to increase. The objective is for this percentage to go up to 20% by 2020. So this is the first, first point. So this is about the breakup. Now let's look at what is the actual solar capacity solar PV capacity. So if I take uh, some time as actually I also have detailed data but then I am just uh, giving you some brief idea. So at the time the solar capacity was 1.61 gigawatts. So after, after some time let's say around May of uh, 2014 or you can also say April, May, almost four years, it has become 2.65 gigawatt. So you see just about uh, on one gigawatt has increased. So it's not much increase, but then it is anyway positive, it is increasing. Then can you, can you expect what it is in 2017 of April? So this figure is 12.5. 28 gigawatt. So all of a sudden 
in this four years of course not much of an increase only one gigawatt has increased but then all of a sudden here you see with almost 10 almost close to 10 gigawatts of increase so it's a major increase that we are seeing the two in uh, in just three years so so on an average it is increasing at a rate of three gigawatt per year and then this itself is increasing okay, so maybe next year it will be five gigawatt per year or so so there's a fast increase in fact let's let's look at it as a plot so if i go back to the wikipedia article which i mentioned before so if i slightly scroll down so here it is you can see this uh, interesting chart here so installed solar pv as on 31st march so 31st march 2010 it was 1.61 gigawatt or 161 uh, megawatts so now it is i'm sorry this is I just mentioned 1.61, but it is actually 0.161. So therefore, here also there was a good growth, about 2.5 gigawatt. But that is in four years. So you see, in 2011 it was 0.4 gigawatt, 2012 it is 1.2 gigawatt, and so on. And you see the increase here, 14 to 15 is very high. Increase in 15 to 16 is very high, and increase in 16 to 17 is even higher, and then increase will be 17 to 18 will be even more higher. So if 6,000 becomes 12,000, almost doubling it. So in the next year also, it is projected that 12,000 will become 24,000 or 24 gigawatt uh, at the end of the 2018, you know, March of 31st. So there is the, the growth is actually enormous. So this alone will. Uh, will make it clear that one one has to look at this very interesting interestingly and if you are learning electrical engineering and then you don't know about solar whereas solar is growing so fast over the next uh, over the last seven years and over the next decade this is something very important and the same data is also given in the form of you know statewide and all this stuff. so anyway you can look at it so it's an enormous increase is what uh, I'm, I'm trying to show here so that's the first point. Now you can say, by the way, if you look at this ratio, so if you say 12.28 divided by 2.65, this ratio is almost uh, 4.63 times. So in the last three years, the capacity has become more than quadruple, more than four times. But then you can now ask the question, is it unique to India? What about other countries? Is only India growing so fast? What about other countries? So, so India installed capacity of uh, PV is how much? Solar PV. Just now we had written it here. That is 12.28 uh, out. Now the same figure for world solar PV installed capacity. So how much is this figure? So this is actually somewhere around 227 gigawatts, so much higher. And that too, this is uh, 2015 data. So whereas this is 2017 data. So, so you should be seeing that as of now, the share of India is not much. So therefore, who is leading? So who is leading? PV in the world. So uh, remember the previous lectures we were looking at the REN21 that is uh, Renewable Energy Network 21 uh, website. So in that website I found some information. So I think this is the website. So and there is a Renewables 2016 Global Status Report. And in this report there are some uh, uh, infographics. So here we had gone through these infographics earlier. So particularly one particular infographic I would like to show you, which is uh, this one. So look at the title. This is from REN21 Renewable 2016 Global Status Report. And the title is Solar PV Capacity and Additions, Top 10 Countries in 2015. So who are the top 10 countries? You look here, China is the top country. Already China had somewhere close to 30 gigawatts of solar capacity at the end of 2014. 
and in the year 2015 they have almost added 15.2 more so now they are somewhere near 45 uh, gigawatts of solar capacity so china is the rank one now what about germany germany already had close to 40 and they are not much so now you can see from this chart that growth of solar pv in germany is slowed down so where it had 40 gigawatt close to 40 gigawatt before only one gigawatt they have added so germany on the second rank it has slowed down now japan in the pre up to end of 2014 japan had close to 24 or 23 i'm just looking at through this graph and they have added 11 gigawatts in just one year so how much india is adding in one year india is adding only on an average 3 gigawatt in one year whereas countries like china 15 and japan is only japan is as much as 11 so there are other countries united states also italy also almost saturated and this is a uk france spain and india is almost ninth rank in the growth of renewable energy capacity and if you see uh, this data is uh, 2015 so if you look at 2017 india already crossed the 10 mark so india already might have stepped two or three ranks ahead of course we we don't know how much in uk have increased or whatever so that is it so here you can see at the end of 2015 uh, india is about uh, six or something like that so this we can also confirm with the other uh, other plot that we have for india so what is the target now what is the total for china total for china is 45 now what is the target for india right now it is 12 so somewhere here in 2017 what is the target for india the target for india as you see strangely is 100 gigawatts so if i want to draw the plot not in the year 2015 but 2022 that will actually go double that of china it will actually exceed the screen actually so here the screen maximum value is only 50 but india wants to add go up to uh, the target for india is 100 gigawatts not 50 100 gigawatts so imagine the plot that that's going to come here now, of course china will have its own target and maybe other countries have its own target just looking at this india itself right now we barely crossed two digits now we want to achieve three digits over the next uh, five years or so so that is the major target so let me write it so what is the target for india in solar PV. So right now it is 12.28 gigawatts to 100 gigawatt. So this is 2017 and this will be 2022. So this is the target. Now the question is, is this achievable? So already I have shown top 10 this one. So let me also write that as a point. India is world ninth rank. In 2015. So is this achievable? So that is a question. There are some plans actually how this can be achievable. So the 100 gigawatt target can be split into two parts so one part is 40 gigawatts and other part is 60 gigawatts and the idea is this 40 gigawatt will come from rooftop solar so when we are constructing our house at the top of our house we can set up a rooftop solar plant and like that millions of people are constructing millions of houses and all that together might reach up to 40 gigawatt. This is one target. Another target is large solar PV plants. So this 100 gigawatt of government uh, target needs to be achieved this way, where the individual homeowners and individual businesses and small consumers 
would contribute 40 gigawatts and whereas the others uh, large solar PV plants will contribute 60 gigawatt and total it should reach 100 gigawatt. And this video as, as I mentioned at the beginning, I am recording in April of 2017. So if you are happening to see this after 5 years, you know, maybe in 2012, sorry 2022, then you can actually cross check whether how much it is achieved, what, what is the status and all these things. But anyway, there is there's nothing bad in defining a very high target. But then once the target is defined, uh, we need to take steps to achieve it. Now just for, uh, for getting a sense of how much investment is needed. So investment needed is about 100 billion dollars. So this is 100 billion US dollars. So when you come convert to uh, Indian rupees, so you get about 68 lakh crore rupees. So this is the uh, amount of money that is uh, needed for uh, setting up this particular 100 gigawatt of solar capacity. Again, this is a, according to the website that is the Wikipedia. Point number eight. So now, how far are we reaching this target? So, if you go to a website called MNRE, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, so renewable energy. So, if you go to this website, uh, you will get monthly updates. on renewable energy. So I, I ask you all, I welcome you all to search this in Google and then you go to that website and then you can find the monthly updates. How much uh, are we achieving? So you can actually keep a track of this. So let me also put it on record that India aims to overtake China and Germany may not be in uh, 2022 but then in long term so over next 20 years or so uh, India will have more amount of solar uh, as compared to that of China and Germany so this is the target of course uh, the young people who are here will be long, living long enough to cross check this uh, claim whether it is really achieving it or not. So this is on one hand. On the other hand, if you look at it, as of 2015, only 55% of rural households Are electrified. So, I'm, when I say India is going for uh, rooftop solar PV and all this thing, we want to compete with many countries and all this thing. It is not because of any any competitive thing that you know you want to compare with other countries or anything. It's actually a it's a necessity actually. See, how do we get this 55 percent of uh, rural households electrified? So one option is to connect them, the villages to the grid. Other option is to have the self-sufficient villages with their own uh, renewable energy sources like wind and solar and all. And it turns out that having a remote grid, having a separate grid instead of connecting to the major grid is actually more cost friendly and you know, it is cost effective. So it is not out of any comp sense of competition, it is not out of any sense of proving some point at the world or whatever. India wants to go for renewable energy out of sheer necessity. If we don't do that, then there are, there are uh, it's, it's, a, it's a necessary thing actually. Adding to this point, 85% of rural households this is rural households depend on solid fuel for cooking.
So this 85% of rural households actually use uh, this cooking like the sticks coming from forest and all for cooking purpose. So that is, that is another part. So how do we how do we address this? So the way we address this is through uh, solar based uh, things. So as a result solar products are becoming popular. in rural households. So what are the examples for the solar uh, products? So th there are some uh, government plan uh, pro projects and by end of 2015 1 million Solar lanterns sold in the country. So, what is the other alternative? So, this is uh, instead of kerosene lamps. So it turns out that the kerosene lamps, which is a fossil fuel, uh, first of all it is it is uh, difficult to get the kerosene and it, kerosene is becoming more and more costly and solar lanterns actually have a solar panel, they, they put it in the sun in the daytime, they store the energy and then in the night time they give you light. So this kind of product becoming very very popular. There are uh, also several other uh, pop popular products. So let me let me quickly write on that. What what has become prominent? So that is uh, these are all for government program. So 1.4 million solar cookers. So what is a solar cooker? So what is a solar cooker? It uses directly the sun's heat to cook the food. So that is solar cooker. About uh, 46.6 thousand solar seat lights. So street lights are really important uh, for safety and other concerns. So about 1.2 lakh solar light lamps solar lights in home and about 30,000 solar water pumps so this is for agricultural use so so many things are uh, going on uh, this is in 2015, you know, by government programs. So, of course, 2016 also, the same government programs will continue, 2017 also they continue, and maybe there are more listings. So, this is the data that is available. So, I'm just giving you the figures for 2015, but 2016 17 also, these things are all going on. Now, another interesting uh, feature or interesting property or whatever natural uh, occurrence for India is India has or let me say India is ranked number one first rank in insulation so that means we get about 1700 to 1900 kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak of installed capacity. So this is per year. So that means, uh, in other words, if I install a solar panel, okay, so this is solar panel. 
and the rating is 1 kilowatt. So why do I write 1 kWp is under peak conditions it can generate maximum 1 kilowatt but the peak condition does not occur all the time. So for example morning 6 am or 7 am the sun is not that uh, bright. So the sun will be bright at the afternoon. So, so actually the, the, the plot will be like this. So this is maybe 6 am and this is maybe 6 pm and maybe this is uh, 12 pm or 12 noon. So 12 noon. Now if I look at the y axis, so this is time, so this may be 1 kilowatt. So 1 kilowatt peak will achieve only a small duration like, like this. So if I install such a solar panel, so in one year, it will generate about 17, 1700 to 1900 kilowatt hours of power. So this figure actually is the world number one rank. So in some other countries, the same panel may generate only about 1200 kilowatt hour. So this is due to less amount of sun. So India in that sense is blessed with lot of solar power. So let me again go back to that Wikipedia article. So I think here you can see the map of India. So you see most of it is orange colored and then except you know some northeast there is a blue green and then north is a cold place so it is this one greenish shades are there but maximum it is orange color. So what is orange color? Now if you look at the scale average annual uh, sum. So you see 2150 and uh, 2000 are in this range. So the same range which I have written. So most of the country is uh, in this range. So therefore I, at least 1850 and above will be the average annual power that I can generate. So that is the solar power generation capacity that is available in India. So that is, so we should use, we should make use of that. So this is also an interesting point to know. So what does India have? 300 clear sunny days. So if you have 300 clear sunny days, definitely you will be able to uh, get more solar power out of it. And if I use the entire area, I will get 5000 trillion kilowatt hour from India's land. So this is just a theoretical uh, calculation. If I cover the entire area of India with uh, solar panels, I can generate 5000 trillion kilowatt hour per year. So it's just per year from India's land. So these are some of the uh, some of the points, uh, some of the unique points for India. So because of all these points, it is it is very very uh, interesting and very very important for India to go go much more into solar power. So this is just a brief introduction I have given what is the importance of solar power in India but I have also pointed you to some resources. Please go through these resources, find out more information, prepare your own notes like this and in the next videos we will further see you know about cost benefit analysis of solar power and exactly how a solar power panel works. We would also like to see modeling of a PV solar cell and so on such kind of topics. Thank you.